Hi, Jesse here. I'm so glad that you found this video. I am passionate about educating people about the power of doTERRA essential oils. I'm just, I'm obsessed with it. Let's be real. So if that's what you want to learn more about, you're in the right spot. And if that's the case and you haven't subscribed to my channel, would you please subscribe to my YouTube channel? I would just, I would absolutely love that. It'd be a great honor. And I would love to be your virtual essential oil mentor. Now, and don't forget, I just want to tell you right now, before this video goes any further, is if you need to purchase doTERRA essential oils, I have information in the show notes about how to do that. My contact information is there if you want to shoot me an email and we can discuss getting you a custom kit. And I would love to be your essential oil mentor on an official doTERRA level too, okay? In this video today, what I want to do is I want to take you on a little bit of a tour around my house and show you wellness stations that we have set up all around our house. Because one of the first things that I tell people when they get started with oils is you've got to keep them out where you see them because if you do that, you're going to be more apt to use them. Because when you first get started with oils, you might be just, I don't know, maybe your package arrived and you were really excited, but then you got nervous to open the bottles and to do all the things. And so first step is crack those seals, open them up, smell them, get your diffuser going, set up wellness stations around your house so you'll see them because that will mean that the chances are so much greater that you will use them. You're going to see how powerful they are and you'll create habits so it just, it, it will get ingrained, but just man of living, especially when you're getting started, put them out. Don't put them in a cupboard anywhere. Okay. So are you ready? I'm going to take you on a little, a little trip around my house. So, um, are you ready? Let's get going. I'm in my son's room right now. I mean, Captain America, is that a giveaway? I'm going to flash on the actual wellness station. Then I'm just going to pick out a few of the items that my son has in his room that I think would be extra helpful for you to see wellness station right here and then over next to his bed we got another wellness station so this is his bedtime wellness station we've got the serenity stick <laughs> oh my goodness if you don't have that you need it a roller ball of juniper berry um he we love using forgive touch with him we got some of the doTERRA lip balm oh if you ever had a chance to get this this is great it's a body oil that we use for massaging him at night when he is needing a little more calming. Um, I have a copycat recipe for that. Okay, we've got another assortment of oils over here. You could always pause this video and if you wanted to read the labels. If you don't have fun stickers for the tops, get some of those stickers. But I do want to point out in this, cologne, get, get a really fun spray bottle and then make your child a non-toxic cologne. And then also, this is one I want to point out, Thinker. This is the kids' focus blend. And this is also the room where we do homeschool. So we've got that in here. Welcome to my youngest two's bedroom. They share a room. And this is their wellness station right here. This box you can get from doTERRA. It's the first storage box that I got. And I remember I was like, oh, am I going to ever have enough oils to fill, to fill this? And wait till you see my major stash. Um, so in our the littles room, we have a lot of the touch rollers. So remember, a touch roller is just, um, it's the essential oil that's diluted with fractionated coconut oil to help with easy application and with young and sensitive skin. Some of these are pre-made pre from doTERRA, like this rose touch, but then some of them I make. Like I got, I have an immunity blend right here, which is On Guard, Arborvita, and Frankincense. So good. So... And it's fun, even the doTERRA ones, once they're used up, I will pop the top off and I will refill them with, in this case, rose and then fractionated coconut oil. The diaper rash cream is amazing. If you don't have that, um, you need to get, even if you don't have young kids, because whenever we have a skin thing pop up with my children, or we're not sure what to do, we put the diaper cream on it. Some people even use it as a sunscreen. Fun fact. Okay, then we've got the lotion that just smells amazing. It's lavender, rum, and chamomile breeze stick we have a owie spray made up here and of course we have the serenity stick for our littles and then they have a diffuser in the room but it's just not here it's over there every room in our house has a diffuser that's one vital aspect to having wellness stations all over your house is having diffusers all over your house here is my bedside table super fancy of course gotta have a diffuser right and then I just have a little container here with some of my favorites. So again, the Serenity Stick. Oh, my Lanta. And then oh, this is a hand cream doTERRA had. It's not available anymore. So just don't yearn for that. But we have other great hand creams. I have this giant roller that's a sleep one that has lavender, vetiver, and cedarwood in it. So good. Just sort of depends what I'm wanting for sleep. Then I have a Serenity Roller here. 
and then we've got a vetiver roller, and then I have another emotional one about um, boundaries that I have in here that I can put on. Okay, I'm in my bathroom. I want to show you, this is where, again, we spread the oils all over. A fun tip that I want to throw out there, like when you especially first get started, you're like, oh, I have one bottle of Brie, where do I put it? use it and you just again you got to spread stuff around your house but then when you use up that first bottle of breathe don't throw away the bottle you order another bottle of breathe and then when it gets to you you split it between two bottles so now you can have breathe in two different wellness stations are you tracking with me or you get some empty roller balls and you make roller balls that you can spread around your house in different wellness stations okay so i'm just going to show you some different stuff in our bathroom there are so many doTERRA products in our bathroom and this would be a really long video if i just showed you everything so I just want to highlight some of my, they're all my favorites. I want to show you thinking of if someone's first getting started with doTERRA. First things first, get yourself unscented lotion. It's so versatile because you can put any oil, you can mix any oil with it, okay? You got to get the doTERRA toothpaste. There's super mint option and then there's the on guard option. And then on guard mouthwash because we all need mouthwash, right? I keep Clary Calm here right in our bathroom because that's where I think to use it. So, and I would encourage someone that was using Clary Calm, try to put on morning and night. So first thing in the morning, when you come in and brush your teeth, brush your teeth, put your roller on. Then at night, when you brush your teeth, brush your teeth, put the roller on. All right. Welcome to my medicine cabinet that doesn't have a lot of medicine in it. Here in this section, I've got my natural hair growth stuff that I put together, my spray, my mask, the root to tip serum, the leave-in conditioner. Ooh, so good. Then down here, I have a lot of my facial care stuff. This is the Rose Duet. doTERRA doesn't carry it all the time, but if you ever see it available, you need to get it and thank me later. We got our face sunscreen. I love making my own skin serum too with jojoba oil. The oil that I've been really obsessed with lately is Yarrow Palm. So there's the inside of the medicine cabinet. Then I'm looking at my shower, I'm looking around. Okay, we have soap, shampoo, conditioner, all those things that you we all use anyways. So you might as well use a non-toxic version, right? So we have liquid shampoo conditioner, we have our shampoo bars and conditioning bars, which I was brand new to those. But you guys, you guys, they're really cool. I wanna show you this. So those are the shampoo and conditioner bars and I just wanted you to see how I display those so they come as a bar it looks like a bar of soap but there's a shampoo bar on you get your hair wet and then you just rub it around and it gets all sudsy it's so cool but when you use it up then it gets smaller and it's and or sometimes the pieces break apart so those bags i just showed you, you we just keep them in those bags and then keep keep them in the bag and then we just rub it around on our head it sounds weird okay but it really is cool I'm seeing that we got the doTERRA face cleanser in here. They have a body wash as well. Up here in the window, we keep the kids body wash because the littles, otherwise they'll just go to town and they'll just pump, pump it all away. So, oh, and then right over my head there, do you see that? That's a bubble diffuser. If you don't have a bubble diffuser, they're so cool. And then I've got a, a room spray right there. Welcome to my main wellness station, the one in the kitchen, the heart of the home. So. This is the, the scan out looking at it, but I'm gonna flip the screen so that I can show you some of my favorite things. Okay, so looking at our wellness station up here, we have our vitamins and supplements where we keep those. I love these supplement containers because you can take them out and you got your AM and your PM. You can just pop the supplements through the top when you're filling them and then to take them out, you just pop it up. It works so well and they have fun colors. So again, keep your supplements out where you see them because then you'll remember to take them. Continuing around, we were just up there at the supplements. Then we have our advantage we keep out and handy and our hand blender, you know, and it blends it up nicely. I have this display for our most used rollers. And then up here on the wall, we have a lot of, these are more sentimental, special rollers from different events. And then some of our supplements and things we don't put and take on a daily basis, like Digest Hab, we take as needed. The veggie cap, so when I wanna make my own pill, which I have a fun YouTube video, fun educational YouTube video I made about how to make veggie caps and some of my favorite recipes. So check that out. Kids vitamins. And then there are kids PBs back there. This is a fun trick too. Just get a cute jar and then put your drops in here. Remember there's the ginger drops, the onger drops and the breed drops. And then I just keep an assortment so that um, we see them and we use them. Now I'm coming down here. I told you guys not to store your oils in a drawer 
And look, I have them in a drawer. Isn't that massive and awesome and amazing? Here's the deal. I keep them in a drawer. I did not keep them in a drawer when I first started using them. I have been using oils for over 10 years. We have very established habits with our oils. So all around our house, we keep them out and we see them, which there's still stuff out, you know, in our wellness station, but the actual oils, it just worked better for us to keep them in a drawer. I found those drawer dividers on Amazon. If you need the link, just let me know. But it just, for we have limited space here. So that worked well, but I wouldn't recommend putting your oils in a drawer, in a cupboard, until you have really established rhythms in place. But you did see, we have them strewn about our house where you see them everywhere. But I just thought that drawer was really fun. It's like my favorite. I love this drawer. Here's the left side of my computer. I've got my diffuser, of course, deep blue stick. I keep that handy. So when I get shoulder tension, just some fun roller balls. Then here on the right side, I call this the Plinko board. I keep some of my favorite oils just for easy use and diffusing a lot of citrus oils. I have spearmint, which if you haven't tried spearmint, I'm obsessed with spearmint. Put a drop on the top of your head before you teach a class, before you have an important conversation with someone because it's the oil of confident speech. And I just put a drop on the top of my head. There you have it. You saw most of our wellness stations around our house. So remember my tip, put your oils out where you see them so you can create habits and routines and rhythms in your life so you actually use your oils and you can get the benefits of them. All right, don't stash them away where you don't see them. I will put in the disclaimer, I do have my oil drawer that I absolutely love, but I didn't do that at the beginning. That wasn't until we had our oil routines really well established. We originally kept them in a box right next to our kitchen sink. So we, because I mean, the heart of the home is in the kitchen, right? And so that's where we love keeping our main stash of oils is in our kitchen, but you got to do what's right for you. Use your oils. If you need an oil mentor, I would be honored to be your oil mentor. So if you need help getting doTERRA oils so you can then make wellness stations, then check the show notes. My contact information's there. I have a shopping link there ready for you. If you know what you need, I would just, it would just make my heart so happy if I was able to help guide you along this journey of natural living. Because for me as a woman, as a wife, as a mom, having doTERRA essential oils in my life has been tremendously empowering in all three of those categories. So I would love to help you feel that same sense of empowerment. If you have questions, reach out. I will see you on my next video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I would just be so honored. Have a great day.